Welcome to Mr. Taylor's Science Emporium of Knowledge, where we transform standardized content into educational artifacts. Today we are showcasing product 153, the pH scale card game. To purchase this product, please visit the links below. Throughout the game instructions, you will hear me say, teaching moment. This is the standardized content that is learned from utilizing this educational resource. We are going to learn about acids, bases, and the pH scale. This package contains the following. One game board, one pH scale ribbon, one deck of target buffer cards, one deck of acid base indicator cards. To start, you will need to shuffle the acid base cards and place them off of the game board to the right of the acidic neutral basic space as shown. Next, shuffle the target buffer cards and place them on their respective space on the game board. Flip the first target buffer card over. That's it. You're ready to play. You can play this game in small groups of two. The goal of the game is simple. Create a total of eight pH buffers. To do this, each player is dealt five cards. These cards will be held in each player's hand each turn. When a card is used, another must be picked up. Teaching moment. The game is all about neutralization reactions. When acids and bases are added to each other, they react to neutralize each other if an equal number of hydrogen and hydroxide ions are present. The strength of an acid or base in a solution is measured using what we call a pH scale, and in our case, the pH scale ribbon. To reach the appropriate pH level and win a target buffer card, you must play either an acid or base indicator card from your hand. Here is an example of an acid indicator card. Draw your attention to the top left of the card. You will see an arrow pointing down and in green. That number represents the number of pH levels you need to adjust the pH ribbon. And in this case, you will need to shift the pH ribbon down a total of 2, as shown. When you place a card on the game board, you are simulating pouring an acid or base into a solution which will adjust the pH, overall pH. In this case, I poured a solution of black coffee, which changed the overall solution pH to a pH of 5. Teaching moment. Acids are, ion are ionic compounds. All that means is a compound with either negative or positive charge that will break in apart in water to form a hydrogen ion. The strength of an acid is based on the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. The more hydrogens, the stronger the acid. The stronger the acid, the lower the pH. Now look at the base indicator cards. They represent the opposite or neutralization of the acid indicator cards. In this case, you will see an arrow pointing upward this time and in blue. In this case, if played, you will adjust the pH scale ribbon based on how basic the solution is. Teaching moment. Bases are, are ionic compounds that break apart to form negatively charged hydroxide ions in water. The strength of a base is determined by the concentration of hydroxide ions. The greater the concentration of hydroxide ions, the stronger the base, and therefore the higher the pH. Now that you know how to use the acid base indicator cards, it's time to play. Remember, you should always have five cards in your hand. Play back and forth, moving the pH scale ribbon up and down until the target buffer is reached. The pH scale is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration. It spans from 0 all the way to 14, with the middle being 7. Therefore, 0 is the strongest acid and 14 is the strongest base. At a pH of 7, you're neither an acid or a base. You are neutral and have a pH of 7. In summary, this game takes strategy and some luck to win. Again, the goal is to win a total of 8 target buffer cards. Let's see the game in action. 